Greetings, the name is Memesar, and this is going to be my tutorial for FE Builder. And from what I noticed in the community, Haram Hacking community, I noticed that we're missing a lot of um, really guides and just overall how things work. And it's really just a lot of trial and error from what I hear on um, FE Universe Discord and from my, my fellow ROM hackers and the ROM hack I'm currently making with my team. And so, right now, I'm just going to go over basic character customization in FE Builder, and I'll make a series out of this. I don't know how many parts, just detailing to every nook and cranny there is in FE Builder, and even more. I might even invite, um, guess into the to the segment to the series in order to who are more knowledgeable about certain areas than me. With and with FE three coming up, I hope this gen. I know it's going to generate a lot more hype for ROM hacking in general, as more and more people enter the community every day. And so I'm just going to put on some music from my ROM hack and some of my own custom music. I made over almost 40 songs now, and I posted 27 of them on FA Universe, and these are all free to use. There's a um, certain sentiment in the ROM hacking community that um, free to use assets are really good for all. And so I'm going to put on the first one, which I like to call Nature's Call, basically. <laughs> yeah, it's just a really nice, simple track. It really loops really well, so I'll be on the background for a while we talk. And so, character customization. So, let's say you want your own band of characters in your hack. And this is basically what it's going to go over. How to change stats, how to change your portraits, the color limits, the animation, the palettes, the hard coding that is involved, weapon level, support class, affinity, unit sort order, support data, and what do the stats actually do in the game. And so, that's what we're going to go over here. So, I'm going to bring up Erica. She's going to be our little guinea pig for today. And Erica is the protagonist of Fire Emblem Mate GBA. And so we have our stats. So stats work in this fashion. So it takes the unit stats are list right here, adds them onto the class's base stats, and then that's how you get your units base stats in the actual game. For example, the Erica's Lord Christ right here for, has four power, which is actually strength or magic depending on what weapon they use. And so if we see right here on the stat calculator and we change it to level one, we can see that these are her base stats right here. This is her final base stats in the game. And so her power is going to be four but if we add like maybe two points of power in here it'll be six in the game when we actually run the ROM and that's what you're going to see basically expect from the unit base stats and stat calculator growth rates are handled the same fashion these are all percentages and you can change it to be as low as you want for example I can change the power to be absolutely only one percent and it will be one percent in the game and that's how they, the unit base stats and stat calculator are handled in the game and so we're also going to go over the name and details so each of these characters have a slot a slot inside the FE Builder, and I'm gonna bring up the text editor in for here. And so you can just let's call him Kazuya, which is actually the name of the protagonist from S Sir Megami Tensei 1. And so basically, it's gonna ask you to install the anti health in the patch to actually change text when you first boot up a brand new ROM. So we're gonna enable that real quick, it shouldn't take more than a couple seconds, but um, yeah, it applied the patch. So boom, we can change the name. Um, I'll go make another video on how to actually edit text, but that's how you change character names and descriptions. Descriptions will go into a little bit more in detail on the text editing, but just to tell you, it usually, and the common standard is two good sentences of text, two lines of text, or three if you're feeling a bit ballsy, but that kind of gets a bit messy, if you know what I'm saying. And so, next is going to be the character portraits. So you do these character portraits, you just press on the character actual like portrait on the screen and you're taken to this editor and so you can see here you can just eye and mouth position and this is mainly for spriters people who actually make portraits and put them into the game their own custom portraits and you're going to want to pay attention here because each character only has a 16 color limit when it comes to um actually having choosing different colors so erica here only has 16 colors and we're going to use a custom portrait from my friend mr illusion and he created a really good, like, Myrmidon portrait for me a while back. And it's really good. It's right here. His name is Kazuya. So, this is why I mainly named him Kazuya, because again, the Sword Master thing. And this is 16 colors. And it's been formatted, so the iframes and the talking frames work. And as you can see, his mouth is a little bit off, but that's because of the game doesn't really. IS has a certain way in how they make the portraits, but don't worry don't worry about this it won't come out like this in game instead you can use the eye or and mouth movers right here to get him to position so let's get that puppy back into position 
as you can see it's back to normal and it works you can close eyes to see if the frames are good and the frames are decent and boom we got basically got our own character in here who's a lord and so that's basically the rundown on how portraits work in Fire Emblem GBA on FE Builder. And now we're going to talk about their palettes. So unit palettes, this is basically every unit has an animation and you can change the palettes depending on what clothes they're wearing. So for example, let's say we made Gilliam have a, a red suit of armor. So we have to go to his unit palette. And as you can see here, it corresponds with each other. His base class 1 is a knight. And so his base class 1 palette corresponds to his knight form. His second promoter class is a great knight. And so his second promoter class is this one. And that's how they're going to differentiate between all the palettes. And that's how you're going to add custom character palettes into the game. And it's really easy. Like extremely easy on FE Builder to make a um, custom palette. Because they, again, every color does a certain number of colors. And even gives you like descending row of um, lightness, white, uh, brightness to lightness. And so we're going to give him red colors, just very generic. We're going to use this color. And so as you see, nothing, I don't even have to like actually manually edit. It just all does it for me. And that's a, one of the great things I really like about this. Because it really, I don't have to manually edit. I don't have to create all these color values and the like into my game. And so we're slowly doing it, just going up the color scale, making it lighter and lighter with each of these. And then what you get is a really decent looking palette, like really good. I mean, you can go for ages and you know defining every single different things that they're gonna have but you also want to make them as close so boom he's now in red armor knight you know you can change this to your please make it any sort of shade of red and then we also want to take into account um this also works and you can actually just a little side note um these are the numbers for they, they do the the number the colors sorry my bad the colors correspond to, to multiples of seven so see or eight multiples eight so eight 16 24 32 30 48 on rgb system and so that's basically just a little trivia for you just sort of who are all about color theory and the like and you see it changes and it will be like that in the game so gilliam as a knight will have a red color palette and it's pronounced gil and that's one but you can also change the palette name if it's a bit too thing so it can actually make the full name which is gilliam and i'll show right here in the right right on the left hand side on this little list where you can go through all the unit palettes and let's say I want to look for Gilliam's palette maybe Gilliam Knight uh, him as being a knight and then we get Gilliam Nye because again there's a character limit but as you see it's it's a pretty good way of um, distinguishing between all the palettes you're going to be doing with because a lot of these like Noel is Noel, Iwa is Iwan, Burr is Baron, one of the um, bosses in Mephi 6, um, Dust is Dussel so that's a really good way that this thing which anyway, even changes it all here and that's the that's how palettes work and it's pretty easy and i really like messing with palettes when i can so now we're going to go over um hard coding so hard coding is a feature in fe builder which tells you what what type of um data is just concrete and is very important for a character so we know that kazuya is the main character for erica's tale of the game and that she's basically the protagonist of Route 1, and so this Kaju is the protagonist of Route 1 of your game if you're doing multiple routes. And so we have Campaign Supply, so he will have the Supply Command. And Supply Command basically, you know, tells them that they have access to the Supply Convoy, for those of you who play the game. Now we're going to go over the Ability Slots. Ability Slots have everything that a character needs without the skill systems patch installed. So this is basically FE8 skill systems. And so we got Mounted A Calculation. Kanto, Steel, Deep Skill, Dancer. Like, this is a lot of self explanatory like, Let's give him a critical boost for this character only, even though he's not a sword master. And so that's how you can do that if they can create really unique builds. Let's make him use ballistas for the heck of it. And that will be shown up, shown in the ROM actually. And so you can even have whether a cavalier icon shows up in the game. And so it's in front of their con, whether they're a female unit, a boss unit. Whether they can use certain weapons, Myrmidon, so master weapons, monster weapons, or even like um, do a triangle attack. And there's two triangle attacks, and one of them is actually the three knight triangle attack from Fire Emblem 6, which is used by Wendy, Boars, and Barth. Whether they're NPC, Magic Seal, Silencer, Lethality, and do not grant EXP when they die. And so, Weapon Lock, I usually like to use this if I'm making um, thieves in the game, like um, a unique weapon for them, which is daggers. 
and then you can have all the thieves characters use daggers and but even though they have sword rank so they'll be able to use swords and then you can make swords their own separate weapon lock so that way thieves can't use um iron swords and, and the like and so that's how you can make custom um weapons so i'm gonna change the song here and kind of been hearing this for a while now um rattle them i really like this one it's one of the first songs i made it's made in c blue scale and so we now are going to go to how supports work in this game. So supports for a character is in the character data. So right here, Kazuya right now has different support partners and you can change them and match them. But you always must make sure that the other characters supports also match theirs. So I'm going to change Ephraim's support to Ford. And so we're going to have to go to Ford support class and change it from Kazuya. So right now it's not matching up too well. And so we're going to change it to, so right now I changed it to make it match up again. So they're both on the same page now. Both of our have each other as support partners. And then, but to be, I think it's to, um, I think Ephraim, yeah, Ephraim, he, um, he, he has a support with Kazuya, but Kazuya doesn't have support with him and vice versa. And so you have to change it. So you usually just take it out and it, this causes to make sure that there's no bug, bugs in your ROM and make sure that the game doesn't crash on you out of nowhere. So sometimes it's usually the cause of a crash because a support conversation activates even though it doesn't exist. And so that's basically the gist of it. Now we're going to go to Affinity. The Affinity can be adjusted by pressing the Affinity icon up here in this little box. And you can change the parameters of each Affinity. For example, let's say the Light Affinity gives 5 extra attack every level. And so you, maybe you can do this for ROM hacks, which is only small cast of characters. And so to make them more viable to win against a large army, you can have have the affinities work out better. Maybe you just give affinities only one trait instead of all this extra stuff. So maybe you can have like um, Wind be just the crit infinity. It gives a lot of crit. And so you can really work around this and make some really unique stuff. And make make and break from the norms, you know? And so we're almost done here. We're going to go over unit sort order. That one is just... When you're going to the unit menu in the game, it just tells you what what position they play when what they're on the very top or the very bottom. I mean, from the list down, it just they, they changes. It just depends on how you do it and what you prefer. So, I think that's about all, actually. And if there's anything that I missed, please point out in the comments section so I can um make a additional video or edit this one that I already uploaded. And so that's pretty much a load on 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 how the character customization and character editor and FE Builder works. And so, if you all have any questions, you know, just, um, you can DM me, DM me on FE Universe if you have an account, or you can find me on Discord under Memesar. Memesar is basically the name on the account. I'm also on Twitter. I don't really post there at all yet, but um, I probably will once my ROM hack with my um, team starts getting a bit more steam, and we have to start releasing trailers and the like. And so, Thank you for tuning in. This has been Memesar on his FE Builder um, tutorial series. And I guess I'll see y'all later. Goodbye.